Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about the chat vulnerability exploit and the entire crossword situation. I know I may be a little late to this entire situation, but that's what we call procrastination. So anyways, I probably don't need to explain to most of you what the vulnerability was, but for people who don't already know, the vulnerability refers to a long-standing oversight in the inexperienced chat and moderation systems. Yep, once again, another issue with the moderation system. Who's surprised to hear that? Specifically, it uses an event called message posted. When fired, it would make the player's client say whatever the developer wanted it to say. With that description, you can probably already tell what the issue with this is. Well, you're definitely not the first one to notice that as the documentation for this contains a notice that says, please only fire this on the player's behalf. If you attempt to spoof a player's chat to get them in trouble, you could face serious moderation action. Unfortunately for Roblox and their moderation team, this very stern and threatening warning of serious moderation action was unable to prevent malicious people from abusing the API. And this, is where we introduce the infamous Crosswoods experience into this discussion. The incident first started with Clark T1000, a Twitch streamer with, at the time, around 3,000 followers. To keep things simple, from what it appears, he was playing games viewers had suggested him to play, but during his stream, some unknown viewer had suggested him to play the Crosswoods A.2 experience. Since we're here, let's explain how it worked. First, when the user joins the experience, they're greeted by a loading screen. At first, things look somewhat normal. We've all seen loading screens when we've joined many Roblox experiences, but as you can probably already tell, this loading screen is fake. It wasn't loading any experience. Its existence is only to ensure that the player stays in the experience longer. During this loading screen, the game is firing off the message posted event and makes the players say very, very inappropriate things. After the loading screen finishes, it disappears and simply shows a red skybox while the player's camera starts shaking left and right. During this, a bot with an auto-report system is automatically reporting the user many times per second. And quickly after this happens, you are kicked from the game, forcing you to leave. When the player exits the game on mobile or refreshes or changes the page on PC, they would notice that they've been banned or terminated from the platform. Thankfully for Clark T1000 and many others, Roblox has started unbanning users who have been affected by this vulnerability. If you haven't been unbanned by Roblox yet, contacting Roblox support explaining the situation should get you unbanned. Although we all know how Roblox support works, so I cannot guarantee that you will be unbanned. After much time of chaos, the game was eventually content deleted by Roblox. Additionally, everyone involved with the exploit has been terminated and or IP banned off the platform. The exploit has apparently also been patched with a short-term solution with a long-term solution in development. Before I end the video, I will tell you the motive behind the entire situation. They thought it was fun. Yes, that is indeed the entire reasoning they created the crossword experience according to them. Well, that's a brief look at the entire situation. It'll be interesting to see what Roblox may do to these people and what the group has planned for the future. Apparently, according to a tweet, they've managed to create a version of the vulnerability that bans people way, way more quickly than original. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.